So today we're gonna to be going over 10 fragrances so unbelievably strong that these do have the potential to even last through a shower if you're not careful. So what do I mean by that? I mean when you're in the shower, you have to actually make an effort to focus on scrubbing these off. Even your traditional washing routine that you may use with a washcloth or a loofah or whatever it is, getting it filled up with soap and sudging yourself up. Sometimes that's not enough to get these gone. Like you actually have to focus on the areas that you sprayed and give them some extra attention to fully rid this stuff from your skin. If you don't, you're still gonna be able to smell it. And so this video was inspired by a fragrance that I wore a couple days ago that I'll talk about later on in the video. And basically what ended up happening was I took a shower, I sprayed the scent on my neck earlier in the day beforehand, obviously, and I always apply on my neck. Uh, and I usually wash my neck with my face wash and just kind of carry it, you know, from my face down to my neck, you know, just because that's just kind of what I do because it's not going to be as harsh as like a body wash, right? So I'm washing my neck and everything like that. Thought everything was all good, got out went up to upstairs, went to bed, and I'm like, I smell good, something smells nice. What could that possibly be? And it was still that fragrance that I was wearing even after I took the shower and after I washed where I had sprayed. So all of these kind of do the same thing here. Very strong, highly concentrated scents that you have to focus on if you wanna get them completely off your skin. We're talking some, some serious staying power here. So I will provide links to these down below to discounters and I will also point you in the direction of my community tab. A lot of people don't even know that exists, but it's where I'm posting deals every day, multiple times a day. If you want to save a lot of money in this hobby, that's where you wanna be. If you wanna be able to pick up some rare stuff, discontinued stuff, or things that are just oftentimes not available, like for example, something like Azaro Wanted by Night. That one's been popping up. I'll post about it, you guys can get it. It usually sells out quick because it's so high in demand. And if you don't see that post, you might miss out altogether. So get subscribed, also doing monthly $500 giveaways over there. You don't wanna miss out, it pays to be subscribed. First up, an absolute monster of a scent, Ultra Male, vanilla, pear, and cinnamon is what this one's all about, with a little bit of lavender, of course. But th this one's been pretty consistent in terms of really kind of lasting through either a shower or just if your skin gets wet, like a hot tub or something like that, you know, you really have to scrub this one off and make an effort to do so to get it completely off of your skin. And uh, it's really just crazy to me. You wouldn't think a fragrance would be able to withstand uh, that type of uh, environment where you're literally showering with hot water and you think you got it, but you don't. It's pretty crazy. Very strong stuff. Very nice, playful scent that really isn't going to be that versatile depending on who you ask. For me, I'll wear it for anything in fall and winter time, I don't care, but other people might have some trouble with finding the right situation to wear this one for. It's gonna be better for environments like bars and clubs and that sort of thing, but it really can work for anything. Next up, we have Versace Eros Parfum version here. So this is another deal where you could probably choose maybe the EDT, maybe the EDP would achieve this for you, maybe even Flame would. I know for me, first-hand experience consistently, this one will last through a shower or, you know, again, any other sort of water environment, a hot tub, that sort of thing. Also happens with certain fresh summer scents. You know, I've kind of talked about it in the past. Certain scents that I would wear, um, you know, swimming to the pool, to the lake, to the beach, because they will actually still last on my skin even after I've been in the water. So it's a similar deal. This one here though has great longevity. Uh, it has solid projection as well. Really nice scent trail abilities with this one. So it hangs in the air. It's Eros, but a little bit more grown up, a little bit more refined. And personally, it's kind of my favorite version. Moving from one parfum to another, we have Fahrenheit Parfum. So this one is a little bit tricky to get sometimes. It's again, one of those deals where when this pops up on discounters, you gotta buy yours right away. There's no, oh, maybe I'll get it tomorrow or, or Friday when I get paid if it's still there. Unfortunately, it's probably not gonna still be there. This one pops up it sells out quick. So get subscribed to the community tab or just get subscribed and you'll see those posts from my community tab. And as soon as this comes in stock anywhere, I will let you guys know and you can get yours. I highly recommend if you ever have the chance to pick this up that you do because it's the Fahrenheit DNA but with vanilla and rum and some suede. So it really makes it a little bit more sweet, smooth, inviting and sexy. And as you could probably imagine, it's in this video for a reason 
great longevity, you really gotta scrub it off. This one also really achieves this similar effect, uh, Dylan Blue by Versace. You know, uh, another Versace in this list, you know, when you look at it, really, Eros and Dylan Blue are kind of two of the big main performing Versace scents. And what's nice is, for the most part on discounters, are gonna be a little bit more on the affordable side. This one is gonna be cheaper than Eros uh, Parfum. This one usually is gonna be anywhere from, you know, $45 maybe for a 100 mil tester up into the mid 50s for full presentation. And really for not a whole lot more, you can get a giant 200 milliliter bottle, which if you're gonna make it your signature scent, that's the way to go. But this one does have fantastic longevity. It always has worked well on my skin. And I do have a couple bottles, by the way, this one's newer, my 100 mil bottle is older and even the newer one still has the same performance the same depth and it really just gets the job done so well kind of a guilty pleasure I love how this smells and it's one that's very easy to hate on in the community this one here is incredibly strong as well and definitely not gonna be for everybody so I will warn you but it's Issey Miyake um, what is it gonna be it's gonna be low dissy or incense uh, you know it, it's of course can have incense but a lot of amber and actually a little bit of oud as well and that's where it's gonna get people. It's the incense oud combination that, you know, is pretty uh, prevalent, more so in the niche space and Middle, East, Middle Eastern style scents and that sort of thing. They kind of brought it over here and did it like this, you know, kind of like something like Dolce & Gabbana Mysterious Night. A little bit more of an exclusive, limited edition type of flanker. It's kind of what this one is. So again, I just wanted to warn you that you may not like it depending on what you're into. But if you do like this sort of thing, rest assured the performance on this one is nothing shy of incredible. And actually while we're on a roll talking about things that are a little bit more controversial, a little bit more polarizing, uh, we'll, we'll knock this one out as well. <laughs> Gucci Guilty Absolute. This is all about the leather and the woods and that is it. Leather accords, strong and kind of animalic and rubbery almost like, almost smells like you're working in a car shop, oil and grease and all that. Not to that extent, but it does have a very masculine type of smell similar to what you would expect a guy, a mechanic to wear, right? Um, and then also woody notes, general woods, cedar wood, uh, primarily, but not too spicy or dry or anything like that. This stuff is a challenge, okay? It's uh, pretty far out there, especially considering it's a designer, but Gucci is kind of known for doing this sort of thing. You know, they'll they'll put out things that are a little bit on the fence and then they'll get discontinued years down the road. And that's actually what happened with this one. Officially discontinued, but you can still get it on most discounters for the normal price point. If you want to own a really kind of an iconic piece of Gucci history, I would pick one of these up while you can. This is gonna be one of those situations where it's not loved on a lot right now, but I would bet you any amount of money that as this one finally starts to trickle away and you can hardly get it anymore, um, people are really gonna to start to appreciate it for what it is. That's how it always works. Look at Gucci Envy, look at Gucci Porum 1, all of this stuff, right? Gucci Porum 2 even, it, it just happens. Uh, but this stuff here is so, so strong. It does come in a 90 mil bottle, uh, which is a little bit of an oddball size, but you really don't need a lot of this at all. Couple sprays and you're gonna be set and you will have to scrub this off your skin in the shower and use some extra soap too. Next up, our Moth Club de Nuit Intense Man Parfum Limited Edition. Uh, this is just about as premium as you can get from the brand in terms of Aventus clones. I would take this over the original EDT, which put the brand on the map, but I would prefer this over that by a long shot. I would take this over the EDP version. I would take it over the regular Parfum version. This is the way to go right here. It's actually very smooth off the opening, which is not something you get from the original. Uh, it's more smoky than some of the other versions, uh, a little bit more rich, a little bit more sweet. It's a true Parfum in that it takes that DNA and just amplifies it and makes it richer and more interesting. Great performance from this one and uh, even the EDT back in the day would survive through showers with me. It was crazy. I really had to scrub that one off as well, but this one will do the same thing. Running down to the end a little bit, Valentino Womo Intense. Now, this one here is all about the iris, of course, uh, with some leather. So it's kind of iris leather and then a little bit of a chocolatey feel, you know, uh, similar to that of Dior Ohm Intense. But this one, what I love so much about it is when you look at the main iris scents on the sweet side, there's three of them, Dior Omitense, Givenchy Gentleman, Eau de Parfum, and this one. 
and I've always described this one as being right in the middle. The Dior gonna be more challenging, a little bit more unique overall, and a little bit more polarizing to some degree. The Givenchy over here is gonna be the most stripped back, the most mass pleasing. This is the best of both worlds. It's the easiest way to put it, but it still does have some of its own unique characteristics that the other two do not have, mainly the leather accord in here, which really works well with this DNA. And this stuff smells amazing. I love it. I think it's a must own and has great performance. And this is a new bottle, by the way. I actually have better luck uh, performance wise with the new bottle with the cap versus the old one. So, you know, if you go and buy this one, this is probably what you're gonna get now. And it's got great performance. Second to last, Bulgari Man in Black. Think of Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette, but grown up and mature because this one does have tobacco. It has spicy notes, literally is what they tell you. Uh, cinnamon, of course, right? But then rum. So the rum really gives this one that mature smell. And it also acts as a balance because you're getting tobacco, which is kind of has a little bit of a, a texture to it, perhaps even a spiciness. You're getting the spicy notes, the cinnamon, a lot of spiciness, right? Spice bomb DNA makes sense. But the rum makes it smooth, makes it a little bit more sweet, almost uh, gourmand-ish to some varying slight degree. But it also just makes it so mature. And I mean, you get that rum right off the top. It smells beautiful. The cinnamon in here is so photorealistic as well. I mean, this is a delicious scent that definitely takes that DNA to the next level. And as you could probably imagine, this stuff is incredible when it comes to performance. I mean, this stuff will just go and go and go. And last up for this one, Mancera Intense Cidrat Boise. So this was the inspiration right here. Now, I featured this at the end just because I've been talking about this one in a lot of videos. Um, so I just, you know, wanted to put it at the end, highlight some other stuff I haven't talked about as much. But this was the inspiration a couple nights ago. Again, I told you the story in the beginning, right? And it just impressed me so much. And I was laying in bed and I'm like, you know what? This needs to be a video. So groggily picked up my phone, wrote it down in my notes, all jumbled up and back to sleep I went. It just really stuck with me and I'm like, you know what? That's nothing short of impressive when something like this will, you know, survive just water like that and just normal washing. And uh, again, I've had it with many other scents as well, but I just never thought to make a video about it until this one kind of inspired me to do so. Uh, when it comes to Cedrat Boise, personally, I think the Intense is the way to go. A lot of people have issues with the Eau de Parfum when it comes to performance. So my recommendation to you is to just get the Intense instead. Um, really now you can get it for a hundred bucks, 120 mil full presentation. It really just makes sense to either sell your old bottle, give it away, donate it, keep it, whatever. But seriously, if you like the scent but have performance issues, upgrade to the Intense and I can almost promise you, you're not gonna regret it and that's gonna solve your problem and you're gonna have a beast mode Cidrat Boise smell that's even a little bit more rich and, and interesting and really takes that DNA to the next level in many directions. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me. 10 fragrances that could survive through a shower if you're not careful. You gotta really scrub these off and focus on it. If you don't, if you just do your normal washing routine, chances are you're still gonna be wearing that scent when you hop out. So we'll provide links to these down below to the best possible price and also, again, if you want to save money, community tab, deals every day, great deals, awesome deals, hard to find stuff, rare stuff, discontinued stuff. It's awesome. Uh, it helps me a lot to build up my collection and to build up rare stuff because I'm checking these discounters back to back every day, multiple times a day. And so hopefully it can help you as well. And again, if you can just take a minute to subscribe, we're on the road to 200,000. Uh, we're not going to hit it this year, I don't think, which is perfectly fine, but I figure, Hey, maybe we can shoot for it in early 23 and we can do this together. Again, giveaways on the community tab as well. 500 bucks a month. Subscribe so you can enter to win. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.